they stay there And they say yeah Yeah and they say there Cause all I do is win Oh yeah, oh yeah Oh Forgot I guess I got so hyped up Get to the intro Did you like it though? Did you double turn it? Sprinkle season on another season. And what's the reason that you think we eat? I live on top despite 11 ops. Well, let them watch and try with all they got. I'm trying to win a championship and run it back. Probably with two thoroughbred running back. Trooper told they don't want to see that. Let the trooper told I won't know how to act. Want to be in the playoffs till there's no one left. So you can crown me the king of the trip, boy. So you can crown me the king of the trip, boy. Crown me the king of the trip, boy. Trip, boy. Another year of my opponents dropping tears. Please take these L's well. This is another year of my opponents dropping tears. Please take these L's well. This another year my opponents dropping tears, please take these L's well. This another year my opponents dropping tears, please take these L's well. Please take these L's well. Please take these L's well. What's good with you guys? We back. Got another Triple FL special. And uh, let's get straight to it. First matchup we have El Ganador versus Gerard's Optimal Team. And of course, Winner gets the easy win against the <laughs> one in ten team. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a easy. Only one person has lost to this team. <laughs> so it was an easy win. Winner was led with twenty three from Howe, twenty three from Warren, and nineteen from Singletary, and he is still trying to keep his hopes alive. Next matchup we have Dynamo FC versus. All love. I, I I guess in light of the P. Diddy charges, he changed his name because his name was formerly called me Diddy. <laughs> guess it ain't looking good no more. Now his name. Well, did didn't Diddy change his name from Diddy to Brother Love? Now it's all love. Hey man, you, you really got some similar things going on, homie. <laughs> But Wayne gets the win, 133 to 112, and finally stops Cat's winning streak. Thank God, because the man just was winning too many games. Wayne was led with 30 points from Barkley, 22 from Tua, and 18 from Pollard. Next matchup, we have Donna Man Down versus Purple Pride. And of course, Carolyn gets the win, 131 to 102. She's trying to, she's trying to get back in the playoff mix. And she was led with Herbert giving her 28. And she had three players that gave her 21 points. Devontae Adams, Edwards, and McCaffrey. Hmm, that brings up a song. 21. 21. Can you do something? 21. Ah. Can you hit a little bit of a Next matchup is Can't Win Them All versus the Mad Kings. And oh my God, Ebony takes another L. 105 to 112. Hey, good win, Kendrick. But Ebony, man, that's five in a row. What is going on? You know, it's like the pendulum just swung the other direction on your team. And she's currently out of the playoff mix. She needs to turn it around quick. But it looks like her team has given up on her. And so Jay Howard trying to convince him to keep them on. Obviously, they were unable to do so. He tossed his shoulder pads, tripped off his shirt and glove, threw those into the crowd, then ran across the field while the teams were still on the field, giving the crowd a... Antonio Brown... That's Antonio Brown without his uniform, we are told, without his jersey. Kendrick was led with 27 from Keenan Allen, 26 from Josh Allen, and 18 from Brees Hall. Next matchup, we have G-Man versus the Wild Card, and it was a close matchup. G-Man gets the W, 125 to 123, and this could have easily been a matchup of the week with their positions not even changing much two teams that are poised to make the playoffs g-man was led 
with 28 from Tank Dell, 21 from Hertz, and 20 from Metcalf. And for last week's matchup of the week, yeah, buddy. Remember last week I talked about the wager I made? Oh, it was with Jay. And I just so happened to end up playing him for a matchup of the week game. And guess what? The ball don't lie. The ball don't lie. I got in his ass and won. 154 to 144. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. And remember, I, I, I was projected to lose at the time by like 25 points. Like, they, they was counting me out. Yahoo was counting me out. Don't do that to a champion. I was built for this. Now you can go in the corner and lick your wound, Jay. And you still owe me some money. I was led with 22 points from DJ Moore, 20 from Brian Robinson, and 19 from Jaden Reed. And last week, blowout of the week was given to Craig by Carolyn. 130, 131 to 102, giving her a 29-point victory, which is not that bad. That means we had a lot of close games this week. All right, let's take a look at the current standings. At number one, Cat remains at number one, even though he finally takes an L, eight and three. At number two, your fearless commish comes back in the picture, eight and three. And I'm on a three game winning streak, which is tied with a couple other people in the league, G-Man and Winner. At number three, we have Ivan at seven and four. At number four, G-Man at seven and four. At number five, Jay at six and five. And at number six, Kendrick at six and five. Now, if we take a look at the bottom of the standings, we still have Gerard at number 12, one and 10. At number 11, Craig, two and nine, and at number 10, Wayne, four and seven. And then the people fighting for their playoff lives. Winner still sitting at nine, five, and six, but is on that three game winning streak. Carolyn at six and five on a two game winning streak. And at number seven, Ebony, who was on top of the hill for six weeks, now at number seven, six and five on a five game losing streak. So hopefully she can turn it around. If the playoffs started, if the playoffs started <clears throat> this week, it would be Cat and I getting a bye. And it would be G-Man versus Jay and Ivan versus Kendrick. So that would definitely be interesting. All right, let's go over next week's matchup that have already gotten on away because of all these Thursday games. We even have a Friday game. So we already they have already gotten on away. And we got a good picture of how things are going to go. So the first matchup, we have... Dante's Inferno versus G-Man. And I am currently, I've currently got on a good start. And Yahoo is projecting me to win by 27. I'll take that if I can get my win. I, I definitely would love to get a win over the number four seed and continue my rise to the top. Next matchup, we have El Ganador versus Winter is Coming. And this is the ninth seed versus the fifth seed. And Yahoo is currently projecting winner to get the win by six points. Next, we have Dynamo FC versus Can't Win Them All. And currently, Yahoo is projecting Ebony to break her losing streak and get the win by eight points. Next matchup, we have Donna Man Down versus the Mad King. And Kendrick is projected to win.
by 16. Next matchup we have Purple Pride versus the Ross Outing Mobile Team. And of course, Yahoo is projected Carolyn to win by 22. Easy win, Carolyn. And for the matchup of the week, we have All Love versus the Wild Cards, Cat versus Ivan. And they are already off to a start. Ivan got 17 from CD Lamb, 18 from St. Brown, and only three points from Thomas. While Cat got 11 points from Gibb, only 11 points from Gibb, and only four points from Ferguson, making Yahoo project Ivan to win by five. All right, it's on and popping as the playoffs draw near. We only have what? 12, 13, 14. We got three weeks left. Three weeks left before the playoffs start. No one has clinched a playoff spot yet, even though I think this week, uh, if me or Cat wins, we probably would cl clinch the playoff spot. Even if it's not official, even if it's not officially, unofficially, we will clinch a playoff spot because. I think winning, winning nine games pretty much guarantee you a playoff spot. So I wish all y'all luck, except for the person I'm playing. Peace.